I've never seen such a ruthless online taxi driver. A man stuffed a drunk woman into the car. The woman's body is twisted, so she must be very drunk. The man then gave the driver a wad of tips, and asked him to take the woman back to her apartment. The woman chokes on her tears in the car. She is in agony from the experience she had 10 minutes ago. The driver observes that the woman is unclothed. Yes, she was being bullied. The driver changed his schedule to take her to the hospital. He knocks on the door of the customer who placed the order, lying that they didn't tip enough for gas. The few who were doing it were rich. They didn't care about tipping more. One took out his black card and asked the driver to casually. Apparently he underestimated the old driver. Driver says, the woman is in the hospital having her stomach pumped. They didn't just drug the woman. They take turns assaulting them. Usually, in such cases, the driver would give them a chance to confess. But tonight he won't do that. The tycoon realized he was in trouble. He locks the door and prepares to close it. The driver didn't even bother to hit the timer. It's a habit he has before he does anything. The whole thing took 29 seconds. He was satisfied with the result. The last man was scared shitless. The driver asked him to turn himself in to the police. He was a top agent for the CIA. Tired of his previous life, he staged an accident. He faked his own death and retired. He came to Boston to live a quiet life. Now he works in a big mall. But on his first day on the job, Mike was robbed. The cashier was shaking in her boots. Mike stepped forward calmly. He took out the money the man asked for. But as soon as he handed it over, the arrogant man looked at the cashier's ring. The woman subconsciously chose to refuse because it was the only gift her mother left her. But the man couldn't care less. The situation is about to get out of control. Mike's eyes got mean. He was about to come in on the two kids. He chose to give up for fear of hurting the innocent, but he took note of the man's neck tattoo. He told the woman to give the ring to the robber. The man took the ring and fled the scene in a hurry. Mike followed him as soon as he could. He took down the license plate of the man's car, picked out a hammer immediately afterward. The next day, the cashier opened the till again. He saw the missing ring, and it was Mike who did it. When he was done, he wiped the hammer clean and put it back. It was as if nothing had happened. Then he went back to work.